In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add or subtract cells within numbers on your Mac. Super simple, let's get into it right now. Okay, so I've got a very, very simple spreadsheet for us to work with right here. What we're gonna do is pretend like this is, again, our month balance sheet for a business, and these are the numbers that we want to add. So these might be our sales that we had in that specific uh, month. And then we want a total. So we have, a, again, our starting balance up here. Let's say at the beginning of the year it was $50,000. And then these are our sales so far this year. And what we want to do is add all that together to get a total balance down here at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is start a little function down in this specific cell. What I'm going to do is hit the equals key on my keyboard. And that's going to bring up our little function. So with simple addition, let's say we just wanna add up maybe two cells to get our total. What we can do is we could actually click on the first cell that we wanna add, and then we're going to hit the plus button. In this case, on my Mac, it's gonna be shift, and then the plus slash equals button right there. You'll see what, you'll get a little plus button. And then I'm going to click on the second cell, and that's it. Once I hit this checkbox, you can see that those two cells now add up. Now let's go back and look at the subtraction portion if we wanted to adjust this a little bit. If I click on this cell again, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to change this, set that delete button, and then I'm going to hit the button on my keyboard that's next to the plus. That'll give us that little minus button. And then let's go ahead and click the checkbox again. So as you can see, now we have a subtraction. So let's make this just a little bit more complicated. Now let's pretend like these are the total amount of expenditures for the month for our business. So what I wanna do is I wanna take my starting balance, I wanna subtract all of this to have a total come up for what our current running balance is for the business. So let me go ahead and delete this cell first, start all over. Okay, so what we first need to do is hit that equals button again, it's gonna bring up our function menu. And we're gonna click on the first number that we want all the rest of our numbers to subtract from. So I'm gonna click on this guy. So what I want this to do is I want it to subtract. So I'm gonna hit the subtract key on my keyboard. And then I want to create what's called a sum function. So I'm gonna type in sum, hit enter. And as you can see, it's going to create some parentheses for us. So within this value portion, what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna backspace delete that, and then I'm just gonna highlight all of these numbers. So as you can see, what this is doing is it's taking the first number here, 50,000 minus, the sum of all of these numbers. Again, make sure you have these parentheses so the sum knows which numbers to specifically group together. And then I'm gonna hit this checkbox key. And as you can see, we now have our subtraction total. So this would be the running count of our business account after all of these expenditures. Again, what we can do if you wanna change this to addition, I can come back here, delete that minus symbol, do our shift and the plus symbol right there, click that checkbox, and as you can see, we now have a running total if these were our additional sales. Now there's one more way that you can do this if you just wanna do it long form, you don't like that sum option, let me delete this. What you can do is do the equals button, you can click on your first number, and then do the minus button, this number, minus button again, this number, minus button again, this number, and so forth. Again, you just it's a long form of typing everything in. Once you click that checkbox, you can see that you now have a really long form function that will give you the same options. Friends, I hope that helps. Again, get creative with this. If it has, would you guys please hit that thumbs up button for us and go ahead and write any comments that you might have. Maybe you want something a little more detailed. We do our best to answer all those. And then of course, subscribe because we got a ton of other spreadsheet tutorials that are coming up soon. Thanks so much for watching.